Hi, my name is Julie Johnson. I am a math teacher, a fisherman, and an outdoor enthusiast. So I've been starting to pick up some garbage in my neighborhood and in my towns along rivers and streams. And some of the things I've found have been absolutely insane. A lot of the items have been plastic, some aluminum and glass, but mainly plastic. You've probably heard of all of the plastic pollution studies that have happened in the ocean, um, but there's also a big issue in freshwater as well. If you look around our rivers and streams, there are things scattered about, a lot of them are plastic. I have picked up a ton of plastic water bottles, uh, plastic cups, straws, plastic bags. Look at how beautiful this place is. I don't really understand why it's here, but I do know that it's time to pick up what's here and stop letting things pollute our freshwater. I've always considered myself a really great recycler, but then I realized that I don't really think that's enough. I found out that the United States only recycles about 10% of the plastic created each year. That leaves 90% of the plastic not recycled. That seems like a crazy number. Only 10% is actually gets recycled. So I've been considering working on using less plastic, but the other issue is that the plastic isn't getting put where it's supposed to go in the recycling bin. So that's why I've taken some action and started cleaning up our rivers and streams. I live in Illinois, and Illinois has over 87,000 miles of rivers and streams in it. That's a lot of shoreline that we need to help and take care of. There's plastic and, and other pollutants all around it. Just in this mile, I've probably picked up about 10 bags of trash, and that's only in this one mile. Think about 87,000 miles of shorelines. We need to start taking action now. A lot of the things that I've picked up have been teeny and tiny and so small that you can't tell what they once were. But a lot of things have also been super surprising to find. So check out this segment of... You found what? This guy. A plastic army guy. A credit card! A spike ball! A Christmas tree! baby bottle! A toilet seat! What? Beautiful linoleum floor! A chair! A hubcap! Artificial plant! A light bulb! And a second army guy! What happened to no man left behind? The majority of the litter that I have picked up has been plastic. About 80% of the pollution found in the Great Lakes is plastic, and we don't know the full effects plastic pollution will have on freshwater environments. There are thousands of types of plastics, each with different compositions and characteristics, and most of which don't decompose in nature. Plastics only get smaller by physical or chemical degradation or from exposure to UV rays, but still never really going away. Plastic is identified depending on size, microplastics being the smallest, less than five millimeters, followed by mesoplastic and macroplastic. The United Nations has deemed microplastic pollution to be one of the top 10 environmental issues of our time. Microplastics are the pieces that might be mistaken as food by fish or other animals. If you want to learn more about how plastic pollution is harmful to animals and us, subscribe to my channel and check out upcoming videos. Plastic is considered to be a key material of the technofossil that we will leave behind on Earth's surface. We need to reduce our plastic use and clean up existing plastic to minimize our impact on the Earth. Plastic is lightweight, durable, and super convenient. It's been booming since the 1960s and it's a part of our everyday lives. You'd be surprised at how much plastic you use in just one day. So I challenge you, don't use any plastic for a full day and see what you find out about yourself. Don't feel like you have to commit to never using any plastic. Make a small change, like bringing your own water bottle when you go somewhere, or bringing your own grocery bags to the store when you go shopping. You can also pack your own straw, or when you go out to dinner, bring a Tupperware so that you don't have to use a styrofoam container. These small things can all add up if we make changes. 
Most importantly, share your changes with your friends and family. The things that you change might help inspire them to also make a change. And together, we can reduce the plastic pollution in our rivers and streams. So, now that it's springtime, get out and enjoy nature. And while you're there, pick up some litter as well. Let's work together to make our rivers and streams beautiful.